Okay, again, for, for the record, how many tridents do you have? I, I have way too many. Okay, fr throw me half and I'll be shooting the left okay. side, you'll be shooting the right one. Peace. <laughs> okay, yeah. now for the ground reveal. <laughs> uh, that's beautiful, I love it. <laughs> Just on a flyby, it looks glorious. Yeah. <laughs> What is up the world of the living? My name is Lloyd and welcome back to Truly Bedrock. Friends, we are in the library of comments right now and uh, there is quite a reason why I'm around here. And no, we will not be doing a comment episode just yet. I don't actually know if you are, if you guys like or dislike them much compared to like the other videos. So here's a quick question for you. Let me know, let me know. I will have a poll in the upper right corner on the iCard. So uh, you get to click that and to choose one of the two options. And look, Slack Lizard did one of those. How cool of him. He actually forgot to sign the book. Not that the book itself is unsigned, obviously, so he can add more comments, but he forgot to uh, add the sign to the book. So I had to do it for him. Slack, seriously, with this. But yeah, that's not the reason why I'm here. The reason why I'm here I, is I wanted to put up at least a piece of the service map, which I at one point stole and which by now resides back at the pir uh, not pirate, undead island. The reason I actually commandeered the map from here, from the library where it was originally, is because it n didn't fit the wall anymore. It got too big and I had to, yeah, had to evacuate it. But I think I will add it eventually to some other place. Maybe some info booth for players who will download the world after the mine, uh, after we move on to the next season or something like that. But for now, look at that. Look at how far we've come. Literally everywhere else but on the spawn island. This is insulting. Like, honestly. This tiny thing that wasn't even there when this server began had gotten more attention than the spawn island itself. Outside, if we just take a quick look at it, from like birds, of po uh, birds point of view, Whee! there we go. No, 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 no. Okay, it's only right <laughs> for being a joke about it. But seriously, if you just look at it, yeah, this part looks fairly built. This part looks fairly built. This part here, the top of the island, the primest real estate, just empty. It's no good reason. Not really impressive. And that's even like was on this side, because here we actually have infrastructure. We have like tiki huts, we have the bank, we have the witch hut, and then there's this beach, which is just empty. Torches are having the best time hanging out on it. On most of the islands actually went around and replaced them with lanterns here and there. Made it much more civilized. And look at that, it's so cozy now. On that side, nope, just torches, torches ever. I wanted to give the spawn island some much needed love. And I feel like I will need to do some administrative action to make that happen. So, first things first, we're gonna analyze the terrain. We're gonna just go all over it. We're gonna pinpoint the prime real estate, the interesting spots, the spots I want to build personally, and of course, the painfully empty areas. And while we're at it, we will probably replace the torches with something. But before we get there, uh, let me just quickly show you some changes we implemented over at the uh, boat and the main, well, not the main, the main base of ours uh, with Silent. Silent is actually online right now. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him down there doing his things in Silent Hall. He didn't see me join even. For shame. No, seriously though, Silent is doing quite a bit of work and uh, we'll get there because I need to go grab some materials anyway. But before we do that, check out our boat. It's still our boat, it's still there. I nothing changed about it. Oh wait, yes it did. <laughs> you see this thing in the back? Yeah. <laughs> I was, I decided to be a bit funny about it. But no, for once in a while, once in a freaking lifetime, finally our actual base is getting some love and uh, from Silent himself, believe it or not. 
You see, Silent just recently returned from his giant trip to building every farm conceivable, and now he decides to build every far con farm conceivable around here on our island too. You can see we have like plenty of shulker boxes and even a beacon now, and uh, that's just him moving stuff around, that's just him trying to um, utilize our base properly, because we have this chest array, and we have outgrown it like five videos ago. We have way too much stuff and none of it fits this disorganized mess. So Silent is finally working on moving it around and uh, some of it is being moved around into this area. No wait, there were chests here. Oh well, apparently not into this area. I myself added some archers to kind of poke out of the little window and uh, the less said about that guy the better. <laughs> Okay, so the marking out of the plots should probably start with marking out the plots that we don't really need to do anything with. I attempted to mark down here using the red of the whoa, 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 of the redstone blocks. Every single shop and every single point of interest built available on the spawn island, except of course for the wood shop because I didn't notice it originally. Update. There you go. Update. I, I love the, the little, you know, circles pop popping up. Yeah, you'll notice. This is saturated. This is great. This is saturated. This is great. This is saturated. This area here, this area here, and this area here are empty. And of course the uh, top, but I already, bragged, uh, I already dragged about top way too much. Now, what can we do with the empty areas? Well, first, this is perfect for st more storefronts. We already have a gambling bot on here, so we could do a quick red light district where you go and uh, gamble your life away. Maybe selling like pirate DVDs or whatever. Point being, this needs more shoreline real estate, more shoreline shops. This here is the beach and on the beach, usually you have every now and again little houses with lifeguards in it or like shacks with equ equipment or at the very least a bunch of towels, maybe a shipwreck would be in place for this little area because it's way too, way too line watts, way too flat is what I'm trying to say. Maybe it, it would be fun to just make a small uh, artificial shipwreck around there, uh, maybe a camp of some sort, st still the design from Fox's little, you know, tent and that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking right now. And of course, around here, we want something more industrial and more interesting. This here is the bank, which already suggests that we need something administrative, like a town hall, a jail, a prison, um, holding cells, that kind of stuff. I know that the last three are the, sa the exact same thing. It may just mean that I really want to build a jail on this server. Now it is in order to for me to basically plot out at least some bigger builds, because really bigger is better and uh, it's about time we went bigger. There's not much space around here, so I want to start with the bigger stuff and then sprinkle around the smaller uh, potential areas. And uh, a gel block will take quite a while. Well, not a gel block, but you know, we need some sort of a jail cell area and probably a cart house of some sort to basically sort uh, to to you know cart court people before we just throw them into the holding cells uh maybe even an, an execution area that would be fun i say cutless entirely and like pretending that that's not something entirely terrifying so yeah i feel if we want a, a large ish build around here we gotta mark it out around here and Really, I just wanted to double check that the blue of the lapis blocks is visible enough on the map. Honestly, it kind of isn't, but it really is and really uh, will later remove all the red circles anyway. Leaving the blue be a tiny bit more subtle might be just generally a better idea. Alright, looking from this area here, from the top of the gambling board, yeah... I actually might have mistaken, uh, might have been mistaken. This shoreline actually does not need that much work. That little appendix there could probably have something fun on it. But this here, it is pretty finished. Uh, it is empty as in it doesn't have like a proper 
any infrastructure on it, but as far as cliff sides go, that's a nice cliff side. That's a really, really nice cliff side. As long as we build something on top of it, right there at the, uh, you know, uh, the, 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 the lapis blocks, will we'll be golden. Will be okay. Will be lapis, which is not what people say. Whatever. Don't. Uh, don't at me. Okay, we're getting up into the sky to take a quick look at that, and yeah, that's a lot of areas that could potentially have something interesting on them. Sadly, I'm flying way too fast for me to really appreciate it, so once again, back into the library. Ta -da 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 -da. No, really, uh, back into the library, because of course, back into the library. Hum, let's see, what if we update this one, and zoop, they appear, and this one, and oh, I already have this one, all right. Uh, basically, these two maps and have all of the blue areas in them. Of particular interest are those areas, you know, the tiny lines that you can probably see. Let me actually zoom in for you for a moment. Yep, there we go. Enhance, as Pixlr would say. But yeah, look at... No. Look at this area right here. This little line here, it's not there just for show. It's there for me to signify that, yeah, this appendix needs to have, needs something to be done with it. And also, this shoreline, this little docking area, has to connect somehow to this docking area. So, we could probably go... Zoop, zoop, or we could go... Zoop, and either is fine with me, I don't really care. These two lines are actually on top of the foxes then. We, you can even see the little road up there and they will eventually be transformed into some sort of a ladder, some sort of a, a stairway up into the hill. So that's gonna be like a very good, uh, very good area because this is basically the only official way up the hill. We will maybe need another one up here and up there, but that's, you know, a problem for a future sloy. Speaking of, the library itself might be expanded all of like five blocks into this direction without obstructing anything else. Um, I mean, this thing, the uh, Fox's little ruin, I feel like it, it could be a really good centerpiece for like this little square around here with the uh, judgment, what the, ju the judgment thing, the courthouse and the jail uh, and other houses being sur like surrounding it. So we'll have a little square around here, and by little I mean really, really, li really little one. And actually, one thought I had is we could use that little ruin as a base for a statue. And that would actually look really, really cool in my opinion. Yeesh! Or oh, dramatic match? I mean, it's not the best statue, but it's nothing to throw lightning bolts about. <laughs> wow. Anyway, yeah, I don't think I should be allowed to build statues anymore. Mostly because this one's suddenly a lefty. His left arm is way longer than his right one. And also, the sword in his hand kind of looks like he's giving me the middle finger. Okay, this is better, but not by much, mind you. Huh. I wonder if Rock Fox has, like... A good design for this type of deal. I wonder if he will consider helping me considering that, you know, I stole all of his diamond stuff. Next up, I promised you guys a shipwreck and... Ah, these torches. I'm sorry, give me a moment here. And then we do this cool trick I of course learned from Daphne Lane's videos uh, with her camp and stuff and we leash both of those bots and if I just ow no slowly not that connect you stupid thing I don't understand the limitations here there we go 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 close enough I don't care works for me uh got some ropes hanging out really really nice the idea here is that this particular shipwreck uh, was basically stabbed into the shore because, well, somebody decided to place their lighthouse 15 freaking uh, meters away from where actually supposed to light up. And as a result, these people just didn't see the island itself and just crashed into a freaking beach. And then because they crashed like mo moderately sideways, they decided why not use the wood uh, from the ship, why not just turn over the boat and uh, use that as a little bit base. So they have this little campfire, little uh, beds for themselves. This is basically like a hideout 
for some really unlucky sail sailors. You know, much more unlucky than the nine of us originally crushing onto the server. <laughs> Not a thing to our, uh, to our soul. And here's a complete diorama. Yep, we had the shipwreck and then we have some random boats they had laying around. And then these little red uh, sand blocks are supposedly like footsteps of these people get into this particular hole in the ground uh, to get a little treasure undug. I really wish I could decorate it some more so you guys if you have any ideas do let me know. One only idea I got is I should probably put a pirate banner somewhere in here. I wonder if I have some in my ender chest or if I like... No, I stopped. I'm, I stopped. I stopped using the, uh, the ender chest for the thingy magic. I could place a creeper head though, but I don't want to place the one I have in the ender chest because that's one of the two first ones. Hmm. At the same time, really, it's not like I can build armor stands anyway because lightning storms will take them out. I guess I'm stuck here kind of uh, with the implication that these people just freaking died. <laughs> because really, um, yeah, if they were here before we arrived, they were stuck in here with like their only ship being crushed and turned to the side. So whatever, whatever, whatever. I don't care, doesn't matter. Um, I got the diorama in. That's all that I really care about here. This area is no longer as empty. And it also is no longer lit up using prehistoric freaking methods. Boop and boop. As for this side of the island, the one on the more of a north side, I don't think I can or need to add anything around there, but this particular corner really is way too empty. Not to mention the torches! I mean, honestly, guys, I'm all usually all for torch spam, but now that we're so late into the season, why can't we have something nicer? I mean, we, we absolutely can, and uh, why don't we have something nicer is a much bigger question. Point is, point is that I added that stairway that I promised, which will lead to more of an administrative thing, and also I came up with a very cool, in my personal opinion. Uh, decoration that you don't really see that much. You see, I thought about what to put around on this corner here and something I've come up with is a fishing hut. And something I've come up for the, fi come up with the, uh, for the fishing hut with is this one decoration that I want to kind of... One, two, three... Let's go with three. Uh, that I want to kind of attempt to assemble for you right now. But I'm not sure if it's gonna look right. And I know like the part of it that's not gonna look right will actually be the part that I just built. See, if you have a fishing hut, fishing rods isn't ne aren't necessarily something that people use for fishing. No, people use for fishing usually nets. So if we take, whatchamacallit, if we take the iron bars, or, honestly, white glass might work just as well. I need to try that out for, you know, texturing and purposes and stuff. And we just place them in this grid pattern. It will actually look much more like a net than uh, any number of other materials. Like, uh, I, I don't know, cobwebs or string or that kind of stuff. I mean, really, it even waterlogs itself. So it looks submerged. The only problem is getting it to con to kind of connect to the place is attached. It's attached to, and also um, as soon as your you know logic circuits kick in, and you are like, wait a minute, why is there a net on the shore where you know there's no fish f uh, floating about? If you're gonna use a net, use it on, on like a ridiculous number of fish in the sea, you know, in the in the ocean, around where it actually swims around, not here in the middle of like civilization and where people live. But just hush hush people, don't, don't get me started on the logic in this game where gravity is not a thing. Yeah, this looks about right, at the very least 
Okay, the horizontal bit looks about right. The vertical, I really need to maybe replace with cobwebs after all, which, yeah, you might know I don't necessarily like using them, simply because people keep, keep using them as, you know, smoke coming out of the uh, smokestacks, and I prefer white glass for that. But you know what? While walking on this, I actually came up with an even better idea for on how to customize this entire thing. Check this out. We get blue glass and we sneakily place it and you can't really... Okay, you kinda can see it. Okay, you really can see it. Just... Conduit power, please do run out! Please, any moment? Come on. Seriously, dude. You embarrass me? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, now it's 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 not as conspicuous and it's not, not as um, as uh, spotable. But then... No. Oh, crying out loud. Get back, you silly... No, no get, get, get you. Yeah, but then we get a fish. And what I'm trying to say is we trap the fish. In one of those little squares. In... Oh yeah, I actually did it. Look. This one's in there. Come on, get... 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 Get into the thingy magic. You stupid little thingy magic. Okay, booty. No. All right, all right, all right. Potentially not the easiest thing to do, but at the same time, if we, if it's gonna play out, the payback, the, the the payoff is pretty royal. I mean, come on, we got a freaking fish in a freaking net. How cool is that? Okay, did I pick up the? Yes, I did. And uh, please turn off the recipe book. There we go. And there we go. The, another guy into the net. See, this is really cool. I mean, you don't really spot it unless you unless you actually actively looking for it. But if you just kind of passing by and pay attention, you will notice. You will notice him. So yeah, that's two fishes in there. I wonder if I can fit a dolphin. <laughs> no, let's not fit a dolphin in there. It's, that would be mean. And here's a freaking shocker for everybody. You can waterlock cobwebs. Why? And because we're abusing sea life anyway, you know what? Why not add a little shark looking giant fish just kind of hanging out around here? Now, of course, if I could, I would make it either salmon or the crap, this guy's. There you go, that's better. It must either salmon or cod colored. But sadly, we, we are still very limited in this game on what sort of materials we have. So what I decided to do instead is I decided to go with uh, more of a classic looking fish because you know, remember when in Minecraft fish was actually uh, bluish? Yeah, that was fun times. You know, crime against nature, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, we're gonna uh, go for a more grayish, uh, co gray color because you know, that's, that's, that's them's the slabs and stairs that we are allowed to have for now at the very least. So we get this, 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 a little bit of bam, bam, boom, and maybe even, and nope, <laughs> maybe even make it more of a thick boy on the sides, like bang, bang, then, then, I don't know, it looks kind of cartoony, but I like it. Uh, one thing for sure that would complement it, you know, the overall fish look, is if we added a little bit of an eye to it, like on this side and this side, and maybe actual regular on, on the side, if I have any left, could go rather well as, you know, fish scales. Silly thing. Conduit power, stop making me insta mine. <laughs> yeah, looks pretty right. It looks pretty good to me. Maybe even boop, like that, to kind of suggest that there's fins attached to it. I don't know. On a larger scale, maybe would be even uh, easier to do. But on this one, I am s obviously you not know, struggling with it. Yeah, that's better, but not by much. And also, I really should have made the little crane holding it taller. But whatever. We got the uh, we got the big fish. We got the uh, little fish. All that we need is a cotton box, and we can do the entire dance. And I was just about to do the final flyby and be really proud of how uh, I really tied the place together here and there at the very least. But then I noticed this wall around here. 
Yeah, <laughs> this is way too empty, everybody, and it actually goes on for a while. I would have left it like that if no, if it, like if it was at the very least covered by the uh, gambling ship. But if you go, no, it actually goes for quite a bit, and it even like like winds around this corner here. This is way too plain. We gotta do something about it. And I was thinking like, okay, what grows in the ocean and would be like a bit of a sprinkle of nature into this more overgrown area when it hit me golly g wilkers zoi you have not played with coral in like forever no legitimately ever since uh, the uh, update aquatic came out i never once did a build that would actually use colored coral not even that one and there's also this area in this server Called, that I personally called Puffer Reef, <laughs> which I thought I would never return to, but I keep coming back to. Like, really, this place, I swear, I love it more and more every day. For some reason, ever since I had, like, revisited it uh, to grab some puffers, I just really enjoyed f swimming around. So, I guess it's as good of a reason as any to go and grab some coral fans and live corals and uh, I got a silk touch pick so why the heck not really this is gonna look like clown vomit and I don't even mind eh, just looking at it could use some more purple in this particular area just you know to complete the entire cacophony of colors but more than that yeah I feel very confident in this design well there's not much of this designing actually going on I just threw a bunch of blocks together added some uh, waterlogged stairs to keep stuff alive and yes intentionally added the dead one to kind of create a little bit of a transition from our um, life coral to our dead sands yeah i don't know glowstone really does go very complimentary with the yellow color cor coral or whatever it's called i don't remember i only remember the red that the red one is fire one and that the pink one i'm pretty sure is the brain one but my point is that glowstone really goes well with the yellow one and that's actually convenient because it's actually not just convenient it's a thing because they used to have glowstone spawn with the coral to light it up uh, instead of sea pickles and i love me some sea pickles mind you they're really nice there's a pretty unique thing to be having but at the same time i'm i don't know i'm i could still use an additional source of sea lanterns or glowstone <laughs> with my color coral reefs just not to, to not go to not have to go into the nether uh, every single time yep but with that out of the way i feel it is time for our final flyby over the island and we just go and we take a quick look and yeah the ship is looking nice um this area obviously is really nicely tied together because it was built by one singular person. This area, you know what, this little walkway is tiny bit too empty for my liking, but uh, it's still better than most of it. And our little fishing spoils really did help out here. I uh, This appendix of a shoreline really looks nicer now, but the problem is still present. Uh, we have a very non-smooth transition from here to there and again i will be taking a closer look at it after i contacted fox and tail because this is concerning his den and that is very very important uh to not disrupt somebody else's build that much at the very least boopty kick out that zombie from the statue and the statue itself mind you looks really really good in there just kind of you know rising above the rest of the island it's gonna be look so cool when we have more builds on the top bit. The top bit really is fitting and can I just knock this? Yes! Get knocked! Why am I doing this? I have a crossbow. Um, get knocked, young man! We will, we will take no vandalism to our statues. No, really though, I need to light it up properly <laughs> or something. Um, uh, but that's about it, I want to say. We did great with the lower level, now on to the higher one, but not into this episode yet. I actually have quite a bit of research to do on prisons, jail cells, and a particular banking system for the next video. 
So let me just quickly contact Rogue Fox behind the screens and uh, I think we will have a quick meetup and talk with him. But for now, that's going to be it for today's episode. If anything, this actually reminded me of one of the Division SMPs videos. A couple of my Division SMPs videos where I had a shoreline all to myself and actually was walking on a pirate bay as my main build. And that thing had quite a bit of uh, fun stuff too. It had like a giant flaming skull, it had a pirate shop distribution, and one thing we didn't, we never actually added here, it had a bar that looked like a barrel of wine, and we gotta do that. We gotta try that. You know what? Yeah, that's just something to for me to write down and come back to, because I wanted to implement a bar uh, earlier on the season, but never actually got around to it. I'm pretty sure I nudged it towards Foxy Hotel, and he just never did that whatsoever. We could probably just plop it around here. It would look very nice. But anyway, that's an old job for some other episode. For today, that's gonna be about it. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do a like. If you want to see more, do subscribe so you won't miss new, uh, newer Truly Bedrock episodes. This has been Truly Bedrock. This has been Zloy XP. So we continue. Have a good one. Bye-bye.